Do you love to do grocery shopping? I do. I usually go to Ramatusan because it is big and the nearest our house. But when I try to find something that I'm craving for or something that I might like, I go from store to store. Sometimes I have grocery bags from three different stores, minimum. Just after a year I moved to Norway, I already noticed that I gained weight. On the third year, I just stopped checking the weighing scale. Of course, there are many reasons why one gains weight, right? Sometimes it has to do with age or lifestyle. But food is definitely a big contributor. I think I'm eating more chocolates and cakes now than before. When it comes to meat, I prefer moose or elk in Norwegian than reindeer or deer. I told my husband why buy the pork version when you have a better alternative. The moose meat in elk carbonader, elk shop cracker, and elk burger taste better. And not to mention a healthy option. You just have to pay extra kiruna for it. Shop cracker are meatballs while carbonader are patties like the old burger, see? I also like the lamb meat. They have a local dish called forikol, which is basically lamb meat and cabbage in clear sauce that is common in autumn. Sometimes I prefer it to be a little soupy. Speaking of soup, oh, I love sod. My comfort food it is made of diced lamb meat or mutton and small meatballs um, from lamb or beef that you can buy in frozen two liter container. Sod which is very local and traditional dish in Trondelag or mid Norway is sold in our local stores in two types. One that is in green and white white plastic tub and this one that I just showed you in black and white. The Indoroy Sod brand is my top choice. Sod is usually served on parties and gatherings, but it is also common as a regular dinner for Norwegians. I also occasionally buy goat meat from a very good meat shop, the Okervik, here in our city to make special stew. My husband is not a fan of goat meat or even lamb meat, but when the dish is good like forikol and sod, he compliments it and just ignores the kind of meat used. By the way, it is a mess to have shenning or flat bread on the side when eating forikol or sod. Actually, you can also eat it with stew. Both are thin and crispy kind of flatbread but I like shenning for its sweetness more than flatbread. I highly recommend <laughs> the special snosa shenning from Kilan Bakery. I know that Norway salmon is known all over the world but did you know that they have a less popular fish that is even better? The oret, it is trout in English and, like salmon, can be both salt water and fresh water. Many Norwegians also like kvete or Atlantic halibut caught from the deep sea, which can be bought all year round in the store freezers. Both the trout and the halibut are on top of my fish list. On the third place is mackerel. Yes, we have a lot of it too. In fact, I have friends who get to catch a few when it is in peak season. When I was in the Philippines, I liked the canned sardines much, much better than the canned mackerel. But here, it is the opposite. The mackerel or mackerel 
in rich tomato sauce tastes a lot better than sardines. So if you happen to see this Tabure Mackerel brand, go and grab two for your bread and rice. In my first years in Norway, I only saw the tuna in can variety, which I often use in my creamy tuna pasta. Tuna is either called tunfish or mackerel storie here. I didn't know that our local shop Okervik is selling the big chunks of tuna too in their frozen section. Maybe it also came recently to them. I'm not sure. I read from one online news that the giant tuna called the Atlantic bluefin tuna and labeled as the Ferrari of the sea that was caught recently weigh more than 200 kilos. It was from a sport fishing team and the sport fishers were not allowed to sell it. That's a lot of meat to eat and give away. Tuna steak is so expensive. Tuna in can is not. My choice is this, but not because the frozen tuna is pricey. I bought once the tuna steak type and I seared it, but I didn't like the taste. I used the leftovers instead to make spring rolls and it was actually better. Still, my recommendation is to stick to canned tuna unless you want to experiment with the exotic taste of the fresh bluefin tuna. Have I tried the controversial whale meat? Yes but it's not going to be part of my favorite list. What you should have at least once a week is fiske pudding or fish pudding in English and fiske kaker or fish cakes in brown sauce. Although I prefer the taste of fiske pudding over fiske kaker, they're both really good. I'm not including the fish sticks and fish nuggets though because I don't like the deep fry method in thick flour unless it's fried chicken. Let's go to shrimp, wrecker in Norwegian. I'm proud to say that here in Namsos where I live, we have a local boatman that is selling ready to eat shrimps just boiled in salty water who comes every Friday during peak season. It is a big hit here, so there is often a queue. If you see the shrimp and bread combination in restaurants and the airports, try it. It's almost like a delicacy, so I must warn you, it is expensive there. But at home, you can eat as many sumptuous shrimps as you want. Scallops, or what we call palm shell, is also a delicacy because it is not too common as a regular dinner food. But I love to use it in seafood chowder or sometimes just fry it fast in butter. I don't think many Norwegians cook it in their houses. But hey, I am new to scallop dishes too. Like shrimp, the Norwegian crab is also seasonal but not expensive when bought in Rema. You know what is super expensive? The king crab of Norway, the thick meat is only on its claws, but it is a must-try luxury. And last but not the least on my seafood category is caviar. The common spread caviar or caviar in tube is very very good with polar bread with hard-boiled egg as breakfast. But as a packed lunch or supper, it is best with just snack kribo. A type of cracker that is typical Norwegian. Mm. Personally, I also like another type of caviar, the black caviar, on top of the egg and polar bread combo. My husband is just shaking his head every time I use two types of caviar in one bread. I love the duck breast sold in selected stores. It is so tasty when seared and slightly fried. It is a luxurious alternative to chicken and turkey meat, but it can be dangerous to have it often because its skin is fattier than the two other birds. If 
if your taste bud is feeling adventurous, then you can try the Norwegian grouse, locally called Ripe. There are some who hunt it and sell it directly to exclusive restaurants. The chain store Rema has it in their frozen section, and I bought one recently. However, it is from Scotland and not from Norway. I fried it and then let it simmer in buttery brown sauce. The verdict? It was not that good. The meaty part was tasty but a little gummy and mostly it was skin and bones. So it was a bit frustrating to eat. It also retained its distinct smell even though it simmered in sauce with spices for more than 30 minutes. If you want more exotic birds for consumption, the Okervik shop sells wood grouse or tiur and black grouse or orhane or orhone. It was not attractive for me to see with all its feather, beak, and claws intact. No, thank you. The best left set for me is from Bertas. They also have canning. A lefse with cinnamon. Oh, what are they? They are both sweet flatbread, but soft and filled with cream in the middle. The filling varies depending on the region. There is no English term for cleaning or lefse. When it comes to berries, my favorite ones are raspberry, blueberry, strawberry, cloudberry, and blackcurrant. The cloudberry is difficult to find and to harvest. That is why it is so expensive in the stores. The blackcurrant is very good as a concentrated juice, although it can be eaten fresh or as jam too. There you are. Aside from fruit juices, Norwegians buy saf regularly. The solbar or black currant sap is thicker or syrupy than juice and you have to mix it with water. My recommendation aside from Lerum's solbar sap is from Fun Light, the raspberry sap. The fruit fest also and the new passion fruit and rhubarb. It seems that I have a bar station here in the house because I like to mix flavors. I must not run out of those I have just mentioned. Tip! Mix together raspberry saf or bring a bar saf and black currant saf or silver saf in a pitcher of water and then add a drop of lime and lemon also and tell me if it's not fantastic. So that's the end of part one. I hope you can also share your favorite Norwegian food or something that you've been wanting to try by commenting below. Thank you. I hope you will like and subscribe. Stay tuned for part two. My six-foot summary is there.